Every brand has a moment where it must prove who it truly is. For Nikon, that moment might just be now. After years of refining their mirrorless strategy and answering the full-frame competition with bold responses like the Z9, Nikon faces a new challenge. Not just to build a great camera, but to restore confidence in its prosumer full-frame lineup. Enter the rumored Nikon Z7 III, a camera not officially confirmed, but highly anticipated. The missing link between the compact brilliance of the Z6 series and the flagship dominance of the Z9. But what will it bring? Is it just about more megapixels and faster processors? Or is Nikon secretly planning something disruptive? In this video, we decode the real purpose behind the Z7 III, from possible specs and design changes to why this camera might become the quiet hero Nikon has been needing. So if you're passionate about cameras and want to stay ahead of the curve, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and share it with fellow creators. Because what's coming next might just change everything. After the success of the Z7 and its successor, the Z7 II, Nikon built a solid reputation for delivering high-resolution mirrorless performance. But while the Z7 II was an important stepping stone, correcting autofocus gaps and refining video capability, it wasn't revolutionary. It was safe. It was expected. And that's exactly why expectations for the Nikon Z7 III are so much higher. We're now in an era where incremental updates no longer inspire audiences. Sony's Alpha lineup keeps pushing real-time subject recognition further. Canon's hybrid shooters are leading the pack in internal RAW recording and oversampled 4K. So, where does Nikon go from here? The answer may lie in what's quietly being developed behind the scenes, the long-awaited Nikon Z7 III. Right now, all signs from lens roadmap delays to chip production timelines suggest a serious internal upgrade is underway. Let's break down the most probable technical specifications and explore not only what they mean, but why they matter. One of the most significant expectations surrounding the Z7 III is the arrival of a new sensor. While its predecessor uses 61 MP BSI CMOS sensor, similar to the D850, the Z7 III could introduce either an upgraded BSI CMOS with faster readout or potentially even a stacked sensor a move that would drastically reduce rolling shutter and elevate continuous shooting. A stack sensor would mean minimal blackout during bursts, smoother live view, and more headroom for AI-driven autofocus. This isn't just a spec bump. It would redefine how the camera handles motion, sports, and wildlife photography, making the Z7 III competitive even in fast-action scenarios previously dominated by the Z8 or Z9. The Z9 introduced us to Nikon's most powerful imaging engine yet, the XP7. With double the processing speed of XP6, it allowed for 8K video, blackout-free EVF, and lightning-fast tracking. If Nikon brings this processor into the Z7 III, which is highly likely, the performance leap would be massive. That would mean enhanced buffer clearing, faster autofocus decisions, and smarter subject tracking even with high-resolution stills. The Z7 III would no longer feel like a resolution-first camera. It would become a hybrid powerhouse, capable of handling both precision and speed. One of the most common critiques of the Z7 II was its autofocus system, functional but not class-leading. The Z7 III is expected to inherit the AI-powered subject recognition from the Z9 and Z8, bringing robust real-time tracking for eyes, animals, birds, and even vehicles. This change could be game-changing for professional portrait photographers, wedding shooters, and wildlife creators who demand reliability in split-second moments. It brings Nikon's autofocus from good enough to industry standard, closing the gap with Sony's real-time tracking and Canon's Dual Pixel 2. While the Z7 II offered 4K video with some oversampling, it wasn't built for serious filmmakers. The Z7 III is expected to take a leap in this department. Internal 10-bit 4.2.2 recording, in-RAW and ProRes RAW output, and 6K or even 8K capture could finally be on the table. This would mark a turning point. It would no longer be just a photographer's tool. It would be a legitimate hybrid for filmmakers, content creators, and documentary shooters. Whether you're recording weddings, 
interviews, or travel vlogs. The Z73 could finally offer Nikon users what they've long admired in the Canon R5 or Sony A7RV. Nikon Z series is known for excellent handling, but with higher resolutions and faster frame rates. The electronic viewfinder, EVF, needs an upgrade. A new 5.76M or even 9.44M that EVF could be included with a refresh rate of 120Hz for smoother previews and real-time clarity. This would make composing in harsh sunlight easier and critical focusing more precise, especially for landscape shooters working in unpredictable lighting. Nikon might also tweak the grip and button layout to reflect feedback from the Z9 and Z8. Reliability in professional environments demands fast media. The Z73 is likely to offer dual card slots, one CFX Breast Type B and one SD UHS-2, or possibly dual CFX Breast for maximum performance. This setup allows flexibility, blazing fast read slash write speeds for burst shooting and high bitrate video, and affordable storage for standard work. Wedding photographers, in particular, rely on redundancy. Dual slots are no longer optional, and Nikon knows this. The Z73 is expected to feature enhanced IBIS, potentially improved to seven stops of compensation when paired with VR lenses. For handheld shooting, low light, and even video, this means sharper frames and more fluid motion. For creators shooting in unpredictable environments, mountain ranges, crowded cities, or handheld documentary shoots, IBIS isn't a luxury. It's survival. The Z7 II struggled with overheating in some high-performance scenarios. With a more powerful processor and 10-bit video, Nikon will likely improve heat dissipation, possibly including passive cooling elements. Expected to use the familiar EN-EL-15C battery, but paired with USB-C PD, fast charging, and continuous power delivery for extended video shoots or live streams. For YouTubers and content creators, this means more flexibility with less fear of overheating or power drops mid-recording. The Nikon Z7 III won't be cheap. It's not meant to be. This camera is for professionals and serious enthusiasts who demand detail without compromise, who shoot both stills and video, and who need performance in unpredictable environments. If you're a landscape photographer, a portrait artist, a wedding storyteller, or a YouTube filmmaker, the Z7 III could offer that perfect blend of high-resolution, intelligent autofocus, and next-gen video features in a compact, refined body. So should you wait? Or should you move on to a Z8 or an A7RV? Here's the truth. If the Nikon Z7 III delivers even half of what we just explored, it will be more than just a camera. It will be Nikon's message to the world that the mirrorless era isn't about catching up, it's about leading forward. Until then, we wait. But we don't wait empty-handed. We watch, we prepare, and we listen, because when Nikon speaks again, it might just be through the quiet arrival of a game-changer.